Hip skibbity boo, where are you? I'm doing this quest. Grab tracking quest from Alex and she will give you a note from Rexar. Read it. He has written some gobbledygook about specific coordinates and where to find him, but ain't nobody got time for that. Mount up and fly north to the nearest cave. It's right outside the celebration area, right next to the graveyard. There is what looks like a goblin tin can. Click on it and you will be magically transported to Northrend. More specifically, Borean Tundra. Apparently, being stuffed in the can of sardines is the best way to travel these days. We need to find Rexar, and he's hanging around here, this closest flight path. Fly there and you'll notice the white tent. Rexar is having a sleepover with all of his animals. That's a little bit sus. Grab the Trails Gone Cold quest from Rexar, and now the fun begins. He's going to give you a whistle that you can use to call him like a little puppy dog. There, there, little Rexar. Open your map and he will mark a spot where you need to go next. It's really close and it looks like a tiny abandoned wooden box. Get your torch of pirate that you got from previous quests and approach the side of the tiny shed. There is a lump of snow on the ground that you shoot lasers at and it melts. Somehow, magically, it melts only the snow and doesn't burn the note that you're about to pick up. Figures. Read that note and of course this bunch of gibberish. Go inside the doghouse and grab another note on the ground there. Read that one too. Oh, just more nonsense. Now if you look at the entrance and then right of the entrance, aim yourself to that hill and the bushes beneath it. In the bushes you'll find another piece of page of the lunatic's diary. Congratulations, you are now officially overloaded with useless clues. Now with all that useless information, we are going to fly up to Sholzar Basin. When you fly into the zone, land on top of one of the pillars and call for your little pet, Rexar. After he comes and sniffs you, he'll reveal two more marks on the map. Go to one that's on top of the map. That's the one we want to take. Conveniently, it's also one of these large pillars in the area. Land there and look for the spyglass. It's kind of positioned to look at the ice crown. Click on it once and then get an item that you got before in your toy box. And that's Idol of Onara. Now the spyglass magically activates. Click on it again. Then look at where the spyglass is looking and mount up. You have to fly to Ice Crown. Aim for the middle of it. There is a sort of a pocket there. Oof, this looks like a sand castle that was built by a five-year-old. And bingo bango, we have scrapes. And by the looks of it, he's taking a dirt nap right beside the campfire. Man, everyone is dying in this wow celebration. Imagine me doing air quotes right now. Call Rexar with the whistle and choose your opinion what has transpired here. My guess is good as yours. What a weird set of choices, by the way. And by the looks of it, none of these things actually happen here. He probably sniffed too much glue and passed out. Anyway, choose one of the options and you're done. Fly back to Caverns of Time and let Alex know that the case is closed. And of course, grab your reward. Five more celebration tokens. Well, that's all for now, folks. See you guys later.